Vermont's federal delegation met in Peter Shumlin's office today to outline plans for legislation that they're introducing that will help pave the way for a single-payer health care system in Vermont. Senator Bernie Sanders explains the rationale. I mean, you've got a national a bill that's out there. What we would have to do is, what the goal of what we are trying to do is to capture the federal money that is coming in, put it essentially into one pot, and create a more cost-effective system that guarantees health care to all people as a right. The reasons which I will not go into, because they are the reasons that make people very suspect about Washington. The original language of 2014 was pushed back, pushed back to 2017. Our job now, when we've introduced legislation at the end of the last session, and we'll reintroduce it again, Senator Leahy is the original co-sponsor, and Senator Congressman Welch is working on this in the House. We're going to try to get that date back to 2014, so when health care reform is implemented, Vermont will have the flexibility to go forward with a Medicare for all single payer system. And when we, in my view, if the Vermont State Legislature, the Governor, and the Congressional Delegation are able to work together effectively, and I believe we will, we have a golden opportunity today, not only to significantly improve the health care system in the state of Vermont, but equally important, be a model for the rest of this country in moving America forward in a very new direction. Vermont can lead the nation in that direction. Many of the insurance reforms that are in the federal legislation were pioneered here in the state of Vermont. So this is a continuation of the Vermont leadership. I salute Governor Shumlin uh, for his forthright advocacy uh, of the potential for Vermont to make progress and lead the way in the country. Thank you. What are the prospects for your bill, Senator Lady, uh, in the Senate? We've just heard some Congressman Welch discuss the House. Can you get this through the Senate? Nothing is easy through the Senate, as you know. But the fact is that if you give, <coughs> talk about giving flexibility, I think uh, Congressman Welch put his, put his finger on it. You're talking about the Michigan State's rights, and what the states do it. You know, over the uh, years, uh, uh, time and time again, we've got small state minimums, got ex exemptions for the bonds. Uh, it's a case of let's see if it works. Again, when something is tried out in Vermont, it, it doesn't disappear into some mega bureaucracy. Uh, people uh, we've had over the years, whether Republican or Democratic governors, we've had the is it accurate to say that what, there has to be a change in law in Washington to go forward with what Vermont wants to do this year here? Do you need this legislation change to move ahead with single payer? You know, there's no question that uh, having the 2014 day is incredibly important to our success. I would not say that anything is impossible, but having uh, the date moved from 2017 to 2014 allows us to use the federal bill to get to work immediately on creating a single exchange and then using in 2014 the cumulative resources that the federal government would otherwise send to us with strings attached in a collective pool to deliver on a cost containment system for all the monitors that provides. What about a RISA? Um, many Vermont employers, you are self-insured under this federal RISA law. I don't know what it stands for, but and, and I understand that, that if the state tried to propose a single payer plan and absorb them within it, the state might be subject to litigation and possible federal, federal preemption. Uh, how would we handle that? Well, I mean, let's first explain to folks that might not know the jargon what ERISA is in simple terms. All ERISA is is uh, self insurance pools for big corporations that choose to insure themselves and therefore have a ERISA law that states that state law cannot interfere with those plans. Uh, obviously, we would very much like to have an ERISA exemption. Uh, Hawaii is the only state in the country that currently has an ERISA exemption. We figure if it's good enough for Hawaii, it would be great for Vermont. <laughs> but uh, we do not need an ERISA exemption to succeed. Have you been briefed on the report yet? I've had a little preview, but yes. How much is it going to cost? Well, let's let Dr. Shao give his presentation. True North Reports will cover Dr. Shao's presentation tomorrow. Look for coverage in the next edition of True North Reports.